Today I am interviewing one of my very good friends, Mai. Mai, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Mai Moray. I am a friend, and I also do writing. Yeah, so Mai's been in my world building server for a while. She does a lot of stuff with Blades in the Dark and a lot of stuff with Victorian culture and that sort of deal, so she's pretty cool. What are some fandoms that you've written fanfic for? Uh, and what are you working on right now? Okay, so I have written fanfic uh, since I was in, I'd say, early middle school. So I've been writing it's a long time. Mm -hmm. I've written for the most fandom I wrote for was Code Lyoko growing up, Mass Effect, Dragon Age, and most recently for Blades in the Dark. Oh, I've also written for Destiny. Mm, yeah, that's right. I remember you telling me about your Destiny fanfic. Right now, what are you? What's your current work in progress? Like? Well, my current work in progress are my Blades in the Dark stories. One of which I am unsure if I will actually continue working on it just because it's going to transition to something new. But I do have a Blades in the Dark anthology series that I will continue to write for. Just short one or two part stories centered around my all my characters I've written for the for the setting. Yeah, and links to that will be in the doobly doo. So today we're going to be talking a little bit more about how to turn your fan fiction into original fiction. So what made you actually want to sand off the serial numbers, so to speak? Especially recently, I've started more, I guess you could say, seriously writing. Mm -hmm. uh, because fanfic when you're young, it has a feel to it. There's oh, a vibe yeah. to oh, it. Oh yeah, it absolutely You does. don't put a lot of thought into it because you're just like, I have these ideas, I want to get them down. Yeah, Wouldn't exactly. it have been cool if exactly. this show or game or whatnot went in this direction? Recently, with my Blades works, I've been actually getting into a lot of filling in the blanks because uh, Blades in the Dark is a, is a tabletop game. It's a D6 based system and it has a very interesting setting, which is this like gothic Victorian steampunk, like post apocalyptic type setting. And I've now started writing about some of my characters I've played as. Yeah, so Mai has been doing a lot of work with the world building and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure she like wrote an entire like playbook guide to a city that's mentioned in like one sentence. Or no, it's just like a note on the map. Yes, it? it is literally just mentioned a few times and on the like world map is just an arrow pointing off the map where this like na other nation is. Yeah, so at that point it's almost not fan fiction, you know? There's barely any source material that you're working from. You're doing a lot of that work yourself. Yes, and even writing in my my story, which is called What Makes a Warden, that takes place in Doskwall, the setting in the book, and in the tabletop setting, I have added so much because the faction it centers around, the Spirit Wardens, has maybe in total half a page's worth of information on them in the entire rulebook, and I have fully fleshed them out to be a functional organization. Right, yeah, yeah. So what is your process like when you're working from converting your fan fiction to original well, fiction? Well, at first, the, the easy step is obviously changing some names. I've been, I'm calling it translating. My other story, Daughter of Brilliance, which is what I worked on for our writing challenge. I've been working on translating that because that takes place in not Doskwall, but a different city in the setting. 95% of that was just original work already. And then you add your own flavors to certain things to make it more unique so it's not just like, this is just this thing but called something different. So I know that when people bring up fan fiction and stuff, they tend to like look poorly on it and such because they'll be like, oh, well, it's so derivative, it's not original. Uh, what do you think the purpose of originality in arts and art communities, what role do you think that that serves in comparison to derivative works or fan work? I think fan works are important. Fanfic and like fan art is it's a great it's a great stepping stone for people that like they want to make their own things but they're afraid to make that first to like just dive right into it. Taking something you're familiar with and adding your own stuff to it is a good first step. I would be pretty pretty nervous just like with having no prior experience or prior you know having done it just posting art or writing for people to experience. I'd rather test the waters, like, do I like doing this? Do I want to share this with the bigger world? Well, I'll share it with people that I know will at least have a passing interest mm -hmm, because it's mm -hmm. related to something they like. Even a lot of my characters now, I take parts of other characters in other works that resonate with me, and then I put them through a filter of 
you know, my own creativity and my own experiences. Arla Serre has a lot of influence from Violet Evergarden, but she's not really that much like Violet Evergarden. Like, yes, she has a superior officer that she's in love with, and he's dead, but I filtered that through my personal experiences with being adopted and having gone through a breakup at the time. And Arla Serre also exists in a different world with different cultural influences, so the way she acts is just gonna be different. Writing, it's a good outlet to explore and test out, basically, how you maybe want to see yourself by through these characters you are writing. One of my characters, Diana Lindell, and the kind of aspect of myself I have in her is the fact that she has a physical disability, much like I do. I'm blind, for the most part. Diana has a different disability than I, but it has very similar similar connotations, similar meanings, and especially how people, specifically her parents, uh, interact with her and her disability. So Diana's kind of my way of channeling some of that, how, how my parents were toward about my, my disability growing up. I feel, I feel characters rewrite, they're good windows. All right, well, thank you so much for uh, letting me interview you today. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the flippy flop. Take care.